Chair. May I make a, a comment? Point of personal privilege. Yeah, a point of personal privilege comment? Yes, what do you do? Let's see, where am I? Okay, well, since we have yes. done this in the past and after a bill, uh, a comment, you know, I can't explain my vote because I already voted. I just think I want to put on into the record what this bill does. If you look at section two, I don't think we see anywhere in this section that says there's certain parts of our history that you can't teach. The ugly part of our history that you can't teach. What it does say is that you can't teach that one race is, or ethnic group is inherently, inherently morally or intellectually superior to another race, because that's racism. Uh, an individual by virtue of their race or es ethnicity is inherently racist or oppressive, whether consciously or unconsciously, because that isn't true. An individual should be individually discriminated against or receive adverse treatment solely or partly because of their race or ethnicity. And you can keep going through all of these. It's, if you could sum this up, it says you can't teach racism. You can't be racist in the way you teach. It doesn't say that you cannot teach history. So I, every year it seems like now we're going through this where we're being accused of trying to stop kids from learning our history. That is not the case. We are saying that you cannot guilt a, ki a kid because of the color of their skin. You cannot say one race is better than the other. I, I'm, I'm growing weary of it and I, I would like some honesty in our discussions, uh, especially from what we've heard today, it's, it's pretty shameful. And if that's what we're doing is saying that um, this bill is about denying history, then um, I think we need to look at the language of the bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.